What is going on everybody? Welcome to Dylan Talks Tone. Today we are going to talk strings. So got a bunch of guitars here. Um, I am typically a fan of not coated strings. Um, for those of you that have followed the channel for a while, you know that I really can't stand elixirs because I think they're too slick feeling and weird feeling. Um, so uh, about a year and a half ago or whatever, whenever they were testing, beta testing, these Stringjoy sent me some of their Foxwoods for their acoustic guitars. So actually I have them on most of my acoustic guitars now. I really, really like it. They don't feel slimy like Elixirs. I, that's, I guess that's the weirdest way to say it, but that's what I don't like. So these feel like real guitar strings and they last a long time and they're awesome. Just recently, last week or something, they released and sent me a set of their Orbiter strings, which are their electric strings. So these are coated electric strings. Now, I have not tried these yet. I have not actually even opened them because I wanted to kind of feel them for the first time on camera because I wanted to just give you my first impressions of do they feel slimy like elixirs? Do they feel like regular guitar strings? And then we're going to do, this. So I've got two sets. Um, they're, they gave me nine and a half to 46. So um, I don't want to put them on this guitar because that's got a floating trim, so I don't want to mess with that. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to put two sets. I'm going to put a set on my Silver Sky, and I'm going to put a set on my, well, I'll tell you what. Let's put a set on my SG here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to not play the SG for a week. I want him to just sit on the guitar because in humid environments, um, you know, it just, it, you can kind of tell when a string is going to go bad by sitting. I feel like strings that sit on a guitar are kind of worse than strings that you play. So I'm going to play this one every day. I'm going to make sure I play this guitar every day for a week. And I'm going to let that one sit and not play it for a week. And then we're just going to kind of see if anything changes or feels different uh, with these Orbiter strings. So first of all, I guess let's get them out of the package and see kind of how they feel. All right. Uh, I have actually not even felt these strings yet. Kind of very interested. So let's open up, I guess the easiest way to do this is let's just open up a 46 because that'll be the low E. I guess you can kind of tell they're coated. Just the, I'm just trying to give you my initial, I just pulled this is the first time feeling them. What I should have done is probably had Leslie hand me an uncoated string, a string joy, because I have some of those down there, and a coated one to see if I could feel the difference. But just to tell you on their own, they they feel they feel like a string. Let me go grab a string joy 46 out of a pack that's not coated and see if I can feel a difference. All right, so same brand of strings. This one's not coated and this one is coated. Um, I would say that you can kind of tell a difference. You can see a difference in the way the string looks. So the uncoated string is actually shinier, if that makes sense. But the way they feel, they don't feel different. Now the wrap wire is different because this is a 48 and this is a 46, but they feel the same. Where an elixir feels like it has PTFE on it, like it does. These feel actually pretty cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and get them on the guitar. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll play a little bit, see what it sounds like. I said that I took them out of the package and they felt coated. Um, I will tell you right now that when you put them on the guitar, that feeling just disappears. Yes, that, that feeling just completely disappears. They don't feel, and what's funny is, you come in here and you just feel some other strings on some other guitars and they feel the same. I think if you got really 
anal about it and you were like, yeah, I can kind of feel a difference between the two strings. And they do look different. You can tell they look different than the string joys that are right next to them that are not coded. But in practical use, They sound fine, they feel fine, they feel like, like with the volume down. You know how you can kind of tell when you put new strings on, they just kind of have that feeling. So I guess over the next week, we'll just have to see how they feel and how they last. I'm gonna play this guitar every day. I guess we'll uh, give it a few days and we'll check back in. Face it, after beating on them for a week, they sound fine. They are really nice strings, they sound great. Strings sound like strings. So here's my thing about guitar strings. You put them on the guitar, I don't believe, this is just my opinion, a lot of people think differently, that you shouldn't notice them. They shouldn't bring a particular quality to the instrument. Like they should just be good. They should sound clean, they should sound new, you know, and have that kind of nice brightness to them, but they shouldn't bring any kind of particular thing, in my opinion anyway. But now let's get into the coded thing. So this kind of got out of hand. I actually was like, well, since I have these strings, let's get some more. So we got some other brands. I'm gonna just give you a rundown of why I cannot stand coded strings and why I think String Joy has been my kind of first foray into this that I really like for electric strings. There's a process that happens. Basically, whatever coding they're using, Elixir uses PTFE. Allegedly, and I've heard this from some people that I think are right, uh, work at Gore. I don't know if you know this or not, but Elixir is not a string company. Uh, Gore, who makes the slippery stuff for your clothing, so like, so the rain beads, uh, like Gore-Tex, have you ever heard of Gore-Tex? Well, WL Gore makes invented PTFE or they have patents on PTFE, which is a plastic, basically. And it's a slippery plastic, it's like a Teflon sort of thing. And so they buy other strings. For a long time, I believe it was the Dario strings. And allegedly I have heard that they are GHS boomers now. And what they do is they just coat the string with PTFE, this Teflon-ish stuff, and they bake it. So after the string, they just buy regular, they just buy strings and they do it to it and they call them elixirs, okay? Where Stringjoy makes their own strings in Nashville, Tennessee. They are not sourced from other places. The wire and stuff, I've, we have a tour of their place. It's really cool. You can see it's legit. They've got all the various wire and it comes in and they have the machines there. They do all the stuff. Well, with this stuff, they coat the wrap wire first and then they wrap it around the core. So here's the difference. This is an elixir string that has been coated after it's been constructed. Uh, this is on my pink guitar. I got a set and put them on my pink guitar, uh, my MGK. And you can see it just like fills in all the gaps. Well, the string is supposed to move to make sound. I, it's, that's why they feel slimy and that's why they sort of feel dead after a little while. Here is a string joy string. Now you can sort of tell there's coating on there, but notice that you can see in between the gaps of all the all the wraps, so the thing can still move because it's been done before it was wrapped around the wire and not coated, like painted over the thing. So there's a couple of benefits to this. Obviously, tonally, it feels, it sounds good. Uh, Feel-wise, it feels better. It feels like a regular guitar string. And I was like, can you really see those bumpy coating things? But this is a D'Addario string with no coating on it. And see how rough the metal itself looks? So I don't, that's why I think these feel so normal because they just feel like a normal string. Now here's the other thing I don't like. After a while of playing a coated string, down here in the picking area, okay, that coating can start to wear off. 
Now, I did some crazy stuff beyond just playing this guitar, where I literally just sat here with a brass guitar pick. And did this for, I don't know, a couple hundred times. Just like that. Here's the photograph of that macro lens. You can basically see no measurable wear to the coating. I did it with a brass pick. <laughs> then I did exactly the same thing with the uh, elixir strings. See all the fuzz that's starting to come up? You and I both know that you've played elixir strings where the fuzz was so bad that the coating was starting, like it was just everywhere, right? That's counterproductive to good tone, in my opinion. That's why I never liked coated strings before. So, there are a couple of brands that are doing it this way. I think um, the Dario is also doing a coated string this way, and it looks very similar. But these, these String Joy Orbiters are, they're fantastic. Also, uh, I played it all week and never tuned the guitar one time. Just, you know, playing it on the couch, playing it, whatever. Uh, not for recording purposes where it needs to be perfect, 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 but playing it, just playing it around the house, playing it a bunch. So then when I came in here just now to make this video, I double checked it with my Peterson tuner and it had drifted a couple of cents flat, like the whole guitar. That's why it sounded in tune. The whole guitar drifted a couple of cents flat evenly all the way across the six strings. So there was no weirdness to the tuning stability. It did what you would expect over about a week. It just kind of went a little bit flat, but it sounded because they did it equally kind of basically in tune. So I just touched it up real quick before I played just now. So the tuning stability is fantastic. This thing, these guitar, this, these strings are good. I'm impressed. I've also never played a nine and a half uh, guitar string set. I've played nines obviously, and I've played tens, but I really like, I really like this. It's it's especially on a 25 and a half inch scale where the scale's a little bit longer, strings are a little bit tighter. I really like this nine and a half set. Um, it feels really good. It just I like the tension that it brings as well. So there you go. Uh, it doesn't flake off. They sound great. They're not coated like painted strings. Um, they're awesome. I'll leave a link to them in the description. If you use that link, uh, it helps out the channel a little bit. Uh, this was not a sponsored video, except they did send me two sets of strings to try. So, just FYI. And I went and bought a bunch of other stuff, too. Um, but the photos don't lie. It's not like I'm trying to sell one over the other. If you look at these photos, this is real stuff that really happens. And you know it, because you've seen it, too, in other videos. It's just real life that happens with guitar strings. So, anyway, I'll leave a link to them in the description. Check them out. You can get them on Sweetwater, too. So, we'll probably leave that link as well. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know. And uh, we'll probably do something similar with an acoustic set because I put a new acoustic set on my Gibson G-Bird. And I've got some more G-Bird videos coming, so we'll probably be playing the acoustic stuff kind of the same way, doing some tests as well. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Make sure you like and describe and do all the things that you do when you watch a YouTube video. I really appreciate it. Uh, and we will see you tomorrow on our live stream. See you Wednesday for the news, and see you Thursday for our other live stream with Leslie. Thanks for hanging out.